Hey, this is YBR. I'm going to make a quick video tutorial on how to use the Lift for Speed dashboard with Beam and G Drive. Now, there's already a good text based tutorial for this, but I'm making a video tutorial because I know a lot of people out there like video tutorials for these kinds of things. So, first, you got to install the Lift for Speed dashboard, which is just as easy as installing any other app. You just click install. You can do it from the web browser or you can do it from your tablet. It doesn't matter. After that, you're going to want to go to your Steam folder. And I'm, wanting, I'm doing this as if you have the version for Beam and G Drive that's on Steam. Everybody who has purchased the game should have that, so it shouldn't be a problem. So you're going to go to Steam, then you're going to go to Steam Apps, you're going to go to Common, then you're going to go to Beam and G Drive, Lua, Vehicle. Okay? And if you don't got that, I'll have that whole kind of thing in the description, like, listed out. So after that, then you're going to want to open out outgages.lua. I'm going to use Notepad++. You don't need Notepad++. I just use it because it makes things a little bit easier for syntax highlighting for some of the things I do. And then when you open it up, you're going to find the line right here where it says outgage is enabled and when it says false you're going to make it to true and then for this one you're going to need to find the IP address of your uh, tablet or phone whatever you're using for this and then you're going to put it here now to look this up I'll uh, let me make a quick cut to show you actually alright sorry about not having a real way to record this I just don't have the hardware but the next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit settings on your phone or tablet and then you're going to scroll to the very bottom and you're going to hit about phone or about tablet and then you're going to go to the thing that says status you click that and then it'll have a list of things come up one of the things will be IP address and you'll see it right here it's probably hard to read it but they, it'll be easier for you to read yours and that is the IP address you'll use alright so for me the number I had was 192.168.1.17 so we're going to change that to 17 and then we're going to save that and now we're going to pull up steam Okay, so here's Steam, and what you're going to do is you're going to find Beam and G Drive, you're going to right click it, then you're going to hit Properties, which is going to bring this up. For this, you're going to go to Set Launch Options, and then in that, you're going to want to type dash Lua Socket, then you're going to hit OK, and you're going to hit Close. Now, next time you launch Beam and G Drive, it'll have everything set up where it should all work. I believe you're supposed to launch the dashboard first, then launch Beam and G Drive. So you would do that, then you can go ahead and launch it. Okay, so if you did everything right, it should come up where you have the tachometer functioning, and now if you do anything in BMG Drive, like I am right now, the gauges will function. They will all work as they should and you would expect. You can also go to the next screen over and see just a gauge like that where it just has the speed and tachometer like that. These are all in kilometers per hour, but you can change it to be in miles per hour. And, yep, that is it. See, which we're going to hit the brakes in 3, 2, 1, brakes. And you can see it has pretty good latency on it because I'm sitting right next to a router for this thing. So it's like, it's right connected pretty good. So, that is how you install it. And uh, that's what it does. I don't think I really need to make a video on what it does because that's all. It, that's what it does. You see it right there. Just boom, 5 seconds, you know what it does. It makes the gauges go onto your tablet, alright? It's been YBR, man. Hopefully you can see okay. It's hard to try to block the light out right ha ah, makes it a little easier doesn't matter I think you can see it like I said sorry I don't have any real way to record this anyways I'll see ya